Welcome back to my garage. First up, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has been donating and my new patrons and uh, just thank you. It really, really means a lot and helps a lot, especially with how the past year has been. So thank you. I really feel I can't thank you enough. Thank you. And also thank you for everybody who maybe isn't able to donate or be a patron, but just who's just watching and subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Secondly, you know I've been talking about the brake disc dyno I'm currently working on being replaced by a water brake. Well, here's some pictures and some video clips of that water brake in the making. Been manufactured by Kenny Anthony, Black Magic Racing. So thank you. More about that later in the in the process. And also a huge thank you to your Dino, Justine at your Dino for uh, he's going to supply the the electric electronically controlled water valve. You need a special valve for for the brake. So thank you. Okay, today we're gonna make the brake work, like hook everything up and calibrate the load cell. We're gonna preheat the coolant because it was running kind of cold. Last time, and I think that was why it was, uh, and people have also commented the same thing, that maybe that's why it was breaking up and not revving, like, properly, without load. So, um, preheat coolant, fix all the small bits and pieces to make the, the brake work, and see if we can get a first test. There's been some uh, occasional woodworking going on here. That's why all the sawdust. The reason for this weird uh, mount is because the, this is short. I haven't got a longer one not in use, so I would have to Go find one, and uh, but this should work for now. Easy boy. Ah. This is a calibration arm, which I can jam in between the caliper and the, and the actual bracketry. And, uh, and I have this brake disc, which is 
which I know weighs 7.2 kilograms. So I'll hang it off the arm like that. And I've measured the, the distance perpendicular to horizontal to be 22 centimeters, 220 millimeters. So I'll plug that into the software to calibrate the load cell. I brought the coolant up to a temperature and uh, was pretty much ready for a, a test fire. But then uh, involuntary water injection, which means there's a leak between the cylinder and the case. And now the whole case and everything is filled with water. Two thumbs up. WD-40 equivalent, just in a different bottle. It seems like everywhere I use this, it uh, kind of fails on me. This is engine sealant and really should be the perfect uh, product for this application but uh so i think this is what failed me this time too and i followed the instructions of uh well i did not it might be that it needs to uh, harden at 60 degrees celsius that might be the problem that it it wasn't allowed to properly harden maybe but uh and had i performed a leak down test i would have caught this before we uh, introduce the water. So yet again, <laughs> remember remember the leak down test. Let's use this opportunity to, uh, to fix the leaky head too, because it's leaking here. And uh, then at the same time, let's skim another 0.3 millimeters of this surface and, uh, and use a gasket again. Could have been leaking past the o-ring up here too. We'll replace the o-ring just to be sure. This has been sitting upside down all night, so hopefully most of the water is drained out. I'm gonna generously oil the bearings before we uh, assemble, just uh, to be sh just to be on the safe side. I thought I was out of the Yamabond 4 stuff, but uh, I found another tube. So before we cut clearance for a gasket here, let's uh, let's use this stuff instead of the, the engine sealant, which, uh, which never gives me any good results. Because this, I know this performs. <clears throat> and there's no reason this shouldn't seal, because this is really flat now, and so is the case. So... Uh, so let's fix that and then tackle this situation. I 
I don't think I pressed record. I just put the cylinder onto the case and uh, and copious amounts of oil onto the bearings. You can feel a tight spot near the top now. It's probably the I can see some uh, like surface rest there from the water. Hopefully that's it. There's no uh, like other explanation. And now it's uh, noticeably less present. So probably the hopefully the surface rust. Uh, I ripped the threads there <laughs> let's see if I, I hopefully I've got a threaded insert nope so these are probably too short I thought I did measure them to be like a millimeter shorter than these but uh okay that's the the last nail in the coffin for uh, having this running today, unfortunately. So, uh, see you next time.